Hello, Dawes Road family, and to those of you who've tuned in, welcome in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We want you to be encouraged in your walk with Jesus. So, in our four-minute Bible booster, let's turn to 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5, if you love the Father, you have to love His child as well. If you love the Father, you need to love His child as well. If we say we love the Father, God, then we need to love the family of God, the very children of God. So let's take a look at what John would say. He would say this in 1 John chapter 5, verse 1. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. So for me to be part of the family of God, I need to believe in Jesus. That's the foundational truth. To be part of the family of God, I need to be a follower of Jesus. And if I'm a follower of Jesus, now listen to this, everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. If I say I love someone, uh, included in that, particularly in Jesus' day, you love the whole family. Oh, sure, there might be one or two members of that family that might be really kind of maybe harder to love. But if I say I love someone, I love everything about them, including their family. So if you say you are part of the family of God, then you need to love the Father and you need to love His child as well. You need to love the family of God. And he would say this in verse 2, this is how we know that that we love the children of God. How do you know you love the children of God? Well, John makes it really clear, and he says it this way, by loving God and carrying out His commands. If I love God, I will carry out His commands. As a matter of fact, he says in verse 3, in fact, this is love for God to keep His commands, and His commands are not burdensome. What does he mean by that? Well, it means that it's not like I that God has so many laws and rules and regulations for me to keep that I'm going to have difficulty keeping track of them. It's real simple. It's real simple. Jesus said it this way, a new command I give to you that you love one another. So if I say I love God, I want to do what God wants me to do. What does God want me to do? He wants me to love the others, uh, the other members of the family. It's really that simple. Um, now, when Jesus said, a new command I give to you, you, you remember what the context was, right? The, 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 the disciples and Jesus were meeting around a table. They were reclining because it was going to be a, a meal that was going to last a long time because they were celebrating the Passover. And they were reclining, not sitting, but reclining, which means they were down on ground level. Now, one of the problems was that these men had been in, in their dusty, dirty, um, stinking sandals all day, and now they had taken off their sandals, and the aroma of their feet was permeating the room as well as the good food. It was kind of spoiling the meal, and no one had bothered to take care of this issue. No one was washing the feet. No one had even provided a basin with water in it and a towel so that people could even do it themselves. So what happens? None of the disciples were willing to humble themselves and take care of this sort of lowly job. No, Jesus himself, king of the universe, gets up, takes off his outer garment, his outer coat, put, wraps a towel around his weight, waist, pours water in a basin, and begins to wash the disciples' feet. They were shocked at this, but it was a demonstration of love. What was Jesus teaching us? Well, that if there's something that needs to be done, we humble ourselves and do it if no one else will do it. That's love. That's not burdensome. Pretty simple. It's pretty simple. As a matter of fact, Paul made it pretty clear that it's really the, it, it's love. He would say this to the Ephesian believers in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 2, be completely humble and gentle be patient, bearing with one another in love. Uh, it sounds like it's a whole series of commands. You know, I need to be patient. I need to be bearing with one another. But, it, but really, all those are is just really a description of what? Love. Love. Not burdensome. I guess one of the questions is, well, how do I have the power to love? We'll take a look at the answer to that in verse 4 and 5, God willing, in our next Bible booster. But for now, if you love the father, you need to love the child. And that's how I show that I love the Father, I love the child, because I want to do what He says. So, dear family, dear friends, let's walk in the love of God, and let's walk in loving one another. For Christ is risen, He's risen indeed.